Welcome back to X-Files Resist or Serve. Let's see if I can record another update while being low on sleep and high on COVID. But then again, the previous episode was a fever dream, so it's very fitting. Alright, we've got Dana Scully. And we've got episode 3 or 7.99. The Retconning. Uh, Reckoning. Tunguska and Monastery. Well, let's start with Act 5. Sir, thank you for meeting me so early and on such short notice. Agent Scully. Agent Mulder has done something very rash and I believe his life is in danger. We've been shown just enough information to entice Mulder into a course of action that plays into the hands of those who want to use Agent him. Agent Scully, I told Mulder to walk away from this. I know, sir, but instead of walking away, he's flown right into the source of the danger. Agent Mulder boarded a Russian transport plane to Tunguska. This intel just came to my attention. A Russian transport plane was reported to have gone down in a remote region of Siberia. Oh, God. I've arranged for your passage to Russia. You'll need to leave immediately. Thank you, sir. You knew they wanted him. For what? I've had no hard facts, Agent Scully. Just bits and pieces. Signs were there that you both should have seen. Now just pray that you can still save him. Okay, uh, we've landed. I don't think this helicopter was quite to scale in the cutscene. Right, have I got anything? I've got... My gun with flashlights. Any notes? Okay, this... Oh, right. What? Artifact piece. Oh, she's keeping the artifact piece because it will protect me from radiation exposure. I don't see any artifact piece. Hiding it from the player. Okay, so I haven't played this part of the game. I've only played the Mulder side. What are the odds this helicopter just up and leaves the moment I walk away? Also, where I'm... where am I? Is it... Is it some kind of basketball court? Oh, no. Cannot open this door. Ooh. Can I drive this? Nope. Is it a Chekhov's uh, forklift? No. Doesn't look like it. There is nothing, no ammunition. You could have at least put a, a clip. Okay, so this I guess this is supposed to be a helipad. There is a marking on, on the floor. Let's say. Um, I'm sorry. Okay, this... We, we need to talk about Russian grammar here for a moment. This sign is says, they are standing. They are standing! Exclamation mark. Which is interesting, I, I mean, it's, it's kind of, it kind of sounds, kind of sounds similar to the word for uh, imperative, for, you know, halt. But they missed a letter and so it's, they are standing. But wait, it gets better. This one, okay, stop is correct, uh, then... Okay, the, the, the four-letter word in the second line, it's also missing a letter. Uh, it's... 
I think it's supposed to say papers, but they missed a letter, so it's... It's not what they think it is. Doesn't make any sense. It's not as bad as Singularity. Actually, now no, that's a game I could play just to proofread the fuck out of it. Dogs fought each other, they, they don't have any 9mm clips. And this is... Uh, wow, this, this is fucking amazing. See that sign? Labor means freedom. Yep, they, they literally put Arbeit macht frei here. Fucking amazing. Right, have we got anything else? Uh, can I drive the bulldozer? You know, if I could drive this bulldozer, I think it, it would have saved me from so much crap in this level. Can I shoot these? Right, let's see if this door is open. Nope. It's locked. That potentially means I can find a key. Barracks. What's happening here? Oh, more zombies! Yes! It's more zombies! AK-47 zombie! Okay, cosmic galactic radiation is sweeping across the land. Now, that was a clever way to hide a clip. And by clever, I mean... annoying. What's happening? Where is the... Oh, the, he's fallen off the bed. This is... It's like those fake pictures of, uh, you know, drunk people. Doing yoga. What's this? Ah, the map. Yes, someone was using it to... Wipe, I can only guess. This is a really well-outfitted Russian unit. They've got paper. Aha, uh -huh. so I should be able to find something going out through the other door. Not this door, the other door. Now what do I do? The door won't open. Wait, maybe one of them has a key? This is very strange, and... Oh, wait a second. Wait, 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 that was the graffiti? The truth is... The, the truth exists. Hmm, that's, that's interesting. Let's say here... Ah, yes, uh, yes, uh, to live and work... Truthfully and according to one's conscience? This is exactly the kind of thing that was plastered all, all over the place at a certain period. And everyone wiped their asses with it. What do I do now? There are no keys here. What's in this corner? Something useful? Or is it just... No, it's just a complete waste of space. Oh, well. Oh! Turns out I can interact with, um... Whatever the hell this is. 
Starting to think that like mirror textures, mirror effects in this game don't work well with the emulator. Okay, this is a first aid kit, but this is not what I actually want. I ideally need a key. Okay, as I suspected, there is something up with this body. Apparently. Except, um... You have to be very... Careful. It's it's got to be somewhere. He yeah, there there we go. Oh fuck you too, game. So, I'm guessing I cannot take this gate because it's very electrified. Hey! Hello! Wait, 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 wait. This was literally... This person was literally... A couple of meters away from us. How did we miss... The door won't open, no. This door will. Another loading screen, yay. Okay, now it's more like uh, business as usual. Is some kind of... Mission Control Center for zombies. Like a Metroid Prime location. That's when they keep their fish. His name is Bob. Okay, game, this doesn't work when most of the people who are playing this cannot understand the caption. The caption says, uh, poisonous, toxic gas. This is, yeah, the most pointless musical sting imaginable. What's up there? Ooh. Yes, I, I always keep a medkit on top of my... Toxic gas containers. In case I need to uh, patch them up. Right, does this open? This opens. Does, does this open? And this opens too. I'm kind of curious about the other way. game, this is not how you design an airlock that is separating an area where you can take, where you, you know, keep toxic gas. You don't open both doors at the same time. Oh, look, a save point. So, nothing of interest. Oh, can I find any key cards? No, I guess key Finding key cards is Mulder's thing. Where are we now? Oh, this door? The door is locked. Interesting that they decided to show us a cutscene with the door being locked. Where are we? Save point door. I almost feel like I should try going back and. Locked off. Scully, this is. yes. 
I need something to pry open the door. Wow, we're, we're solving puzzles now. That door won't open. I guess this is a dead end. Oh, wait, no. We need to try this door. Crycheck, stop there! Well, that didn't do anything. I like how Scully declares that uh, Crycheck has escaped into an area she cannot gain access to because, well, she she didn't actually bother checking. <clears throat> Scully. We have to get out of here. I saw Alex Crycheck. And Cancer Man. What? That cigarette smoking bastard is here, using me to locate a ship. What are you talking about? A spacecraft, which crashed to Earth almost 100 years ago. Somehow the virus that I was infected with, the alien virus, has connected me to the ship in a way. I can find this spacecraft, buried somewhere in the Siberian landscape. Somehow this machine has heightened my- Mulder, listen to me. I saw something at Rausch, a film of you and Cigarette Smoking Man, the brain operation that you had. He had genetic material taken from your brain and transferred to his. I don't understand. That would mean the genetic material we share, he would respond to the alien craft in the same way. Then why would he need me? Because going through this is killing you. Killing you both. We have to leave. Wait, is that what's happening? Do you have anything to say? No. So the plot is that you can just implant someone else's genetic material into your head and uh, it just works and it gives you psychic powers. I guess this is X-Files, so why not? Okay, not a puzzle I need to solve, thankfully. Mulder, have you got anything for me? Like the keys to a locked door? No? Fine. Let's try that door. No. Scully, stop! Shit. Right? I hear zombies! Oh, is it Mulder feeling hungry? You can never be quite sure. What am I looking at? Like, wh where is... the ground? The walkable paths? Fuck's sake. Oh, okay, a door. No other doors? Alright, let's go through the first door we saw. It's jammed. Well, that's great. I guess we just leave. There's nothing more for us here. We'll tr I mean, we'll try to leave as soon as Scully figures out how walking works. Okay, we're ready to make tracks. Do you have anything to pry things with? Nope. Scully, I thought you said Crycheck went this way. I didn't say anything. Oh, now it's open. The fuck? Alex Krychek put me here. After he found out, I lied to him. And that lie was? He believed you died when the Russian transport plane went down. Because I placed a tracking device in the diplomatic passport I gave you, I knew otherwise. To protect you, I allowed him to believe the lie. 
You worked with Krychek for the smoking man to lure Mulder here. Why bring him here only to try and save him? I believe the deception these men conceive would bring Mulder to a deeper truth. One that he needed to find. But I didn't know there was a power here. A force. A force? An entity that you've encountered. A man, a being, imbued with the alien power of the artifact. Once the shell containing the artifact was fractured at Briar Lake, this being became a conduit for that power. A power that Smoking Man believed you could resist. Resist the power to serve the interests of these men in the shadows. Where are they now? At this point, on their way with the Special Forces unit to find the alien craft. I don't expect any of them will survive. Uh, excuse me? All right, all right, uh, uh, Krychek has sent a special forces team on a suicide mission. Man! Where else have I heard that before? Man, let's go. Wait, it's... It's literally a fucking closet. Krychek escaped into the closet. Th this is amazing. This, this is... Are you, are you coming with us? No? Okay, let's go back. Oh, let me guess, some toxic... toxic vials are going to break right now. As I try to pass through that room. Let's see if I'm right. Although, uh, I just may be remembering how this played out with Mulder. Why is this not opening? Hello, game. This is... This used to open, right? Hello? Say goodbye to Mulder for me. Krychek? Run! Um uh, Narrowly escaped... Bomb blast. I don't know how she could have survived. Scully, are you alright? Yes. Where's Marita? Marita! We can't save her, Mulder. This is just... Incredibly stupid. Also, kind of gives away that the actors have no idea what is going on in the game. So let's keep going. Uh, this door. This door won't open, still. But this door is our friend. And no, there is still nothing in the closet. Krychek is here, nearby. Mulder, we have a helicopter. If we can get to it, we can escape. Get back there and get ready to leave. I'll meet up with you. Uh, y y who, who, where, where? Where did Mulder go? Mulder ran off in search of Krychek. Okay, th that's good that the game is telling me. Uh, th th that's the rule, right? Tell, not show. Ooh! Zombies! <sighs> Obtain crowbar. Oh yes, this is what we need. But first we need to look at the crowbar. Definitely a crowbar. Another med kit. Oh, hit more zombies.
These Russian soldiers are very impolite. Ooh, zombie cut in half. The locked door, I guess we need to find a key. How... Sorry, how did this happen? This is just a... Like a cage, it's been here probably for years. How does it cut a zombie in half? Oh well. Oh wait, I need to see where I am. Weapons hold. Okay, first things first, I want to see what's down this door. Another place where I'm supposed to be getting weapons, but they're so stingy. Camera. And where are we now? Aha. Aha. I see. Dangerous dogs. Not danger dog, dangerous dogs. Male dogs, also. Well, maybe not. Hounds, yes, the, be the better word would be hounds. Th this looks... The spigot is frozen, but still seems to be working. How can you tell? The switch is too heavy. I don't know what the switch is for, but we... Oh, we've gone in a circle. Yeah, I recognize this place. The door won't open, of course. Wait, what, what's that noise? Oh, we, we've gone to the other side of this gate, so... We may be able to find something. We may be able to open it. And solve all of our problems, get back to the helicopter. The building is filled with poisonous gas. Oh no. Shit. Obtained empty bucket. Okay, in case of emergency, we could wear it as a helmet. Not sure why we took the bucket from these two dogs who were doing nothing to us, but we did. And if we want to get some water from that spigot, we'll need something to heat it up. Oh, this door won't open! Fucking magical. What am I doing here then? Alright, it seems that the next stage of our adventure is right here with a zombie who... You might not be able to see it, but yeah, here we go. This zombie has a metal gate key. Which is either a key made of metal... Or... Uh, a key for a metal gate. It's one of the two. A shotgun.
Is that it? Now let's let's open the other gate. Wait, was it was it here? Yes, so the gate with the severed zombie. That's useless. Does the half of the zombie do anything? Nope. This sounds like a complete waste of time. Okay, do we get to search this area yet again? Yes, we do. Specifically, oh yeah, see this? This is next to invisible. This, this is a wrench. Nice. So we've got a wrench, a crowbar, a bucket. No. I thought I had to thaw the spigot, no, I just hit it with a wrench. Need something to hold the water in. Ooh, we've got a bucket of water. And we're going to flip it over and no, the water doesn't. Now this is a real paranormal activity. Where do I need the water? Oh, I know. From this angle, it's impossible to tell what Scully is even interacting with. I think it's like that big switch, big red switch. And uh, I think I need to hang a bucket on it. And that should make that door openable. Wait, can I blow these up? Nope. Okay, let's go get my helicopter. I'm sorry, what? A dramatic entrance or a desperate cry for attention? There goes our ride out of here. Pant is so well trained, he managed, managed to take off and land a helicopter while zombie fired. That's... That's some dedication. Well practiced skills too. That door won't open. Right, can we hijack something like a truck? feeling you're taking me to find a spaceship. Well, it's still hip to go there because not everyone knows about it yet. Mulder, this is exactly what they want you to do. No, not anymore. Krychek tried to kill us. He and Cancer Man had a reason to lead me here, but that plan's changed now. Mulder, if you're doing this, you're not doing it alone. 
Let's go. Show me a spaceship. I knew you were here. And that's the end of the act. Show me a spaceship, Mulder. Okay, we'll save, and next time I think I'll continue with Scully's story simply because... just so that I don't have to deal with the... losing all my items. Mulder, what is this place? Some kind of old ruins. It looks like Krychek used this for a staging area. They're draining the lake. There are more ruins out there. The ship is buried within them, somewhere below the surface of the water. This is proof, Mulder. I was able to retrieve the alien fragment from Rausch Biotech. If we study this fragment and it provides the evidence that we know it should, this is irrefutable proof of everything we've been searching for. The key to unlocking the answer to every question in the X-Files. What more do you hope to find here? The truth. Okay, ignoring the fact that they just had a change of clothing, while on a drive in a different country in a hijacked vehicle. Why was Mulder vibrating in that cutscene so much? Enough for now, next time we'll continue exploring this uh, exciting ruined monastery site, which is full of alien artifacts and possibly has a spaceship. We get to see a spaceship. Otherwise, this won't be X-Files.